Unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Hello and welcome to our prayers for Monday in Holy Week, 2022. Let us pray. Holy God, your Son made an instrument of shameful death to be for us the means of life. Through your cross, may we be prepared to offer ourselves, our souls and bodies for the sake of your Son. Amen. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they gave a dinner for him. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for 300 denarii and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept the common purse and used to steal what was put into it. Jesus said, Leave her alone. She bought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. Jesus had wept as he stood outside Lazarus' tomb. Now Lazarus' sister anoints Jesus' feet, preparing him for his own tomb. Who is this God that uses burial tombs to bring forth new life? And what gift of thanks could we ever give that would be enough for this God? who overflows with such rich, extravagant, costly love. Saviour, bring us your church with you to your Passover feast in heaven. You were pierced by the soldier's spear, May our wounds bring healing to others. You made the cross of death into the tree of life. Plant seeds in us that will bear your fruits and give life to the world. We ask all this for your son's sake as we pray the words he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. If you live on your own, rub some oil onto the back of your hand, or if there are others in your house, do this for one another. Pay attention to your senses. Smell the oil. Notice the shine on your skin. How does it change how your skin feels? Is there anything else you notice? Then think about what Mary did for Jesus, anointing his feet and wiping them with her hair. What would that have done to their senses? What would that feel like for both of them and for the others in the room? This is an act of incredibly tender love. 
How might you show your love to Jesus through such an act of tender love for someone else? Our journey with Jesus through Holy Week continues tomorrow. Until then, peace and blessings everyone.